Hello guys, welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to be testing KBS Coatings Clear Diamond Finish. This is a substitute, I hope, for uh, 2K finishes because no hardener is needed. This is a one-step process. You just spray it, nothing to add and done. Now we're going to thin it a little bit. I'll go through that in a second. But um, this works on plastics. Uh, I know it direct to metal formula. And uh, I know guys dip their fishing lures in it. And we're going to dip, uh, well, for us, we're going to be dipping a spoon. We don't have any lures. I actually went to go get with some, but they were already clear-coated, so we wouldn't have seen any uh, advantage to that. But um, it is strong. You don't have to wear the mask. I'll show you the mask that I use. But uh, being a one-step process, really good. Now, it's a little thicker than the 2K that I use for my auto store. So this is where the process took a little longer for me to get this up. I, uh, I had to order their thinner. Now, I looked up what kind of thinner works with this, and they replied, xylene or their own. I was able to get their own from Spray Gunner, so I just went ahead and ordered from those guys. But you can also get a xylene. I called three places in Rhode Island where I live, and no one had it. So, <laughs> so uh, Massachusetts had it, uh, the state next to me, but I didn't feel like taking it right. But uh, xylene is also at, uh, you can get at uh, uh, marine places. One of my marine places had it listed, but they were sold out. I would have, I would have bought a quart of it, you know, because I use all this stuff anyway. But if you guys are wondering what to use, this is what the company recommends for their thinner. Uh, I went ahead and got their own, which I'm guessing is just an offshoot of that. It's probably a little weaker, I'm guessing. Usually that's what they do and uh, thin it out for home use. But anyway, we're going to thin it a little bit. They recommend only 10%, you know, so 90-10. And um, 15, so I'm guessing 85, 15. They said you can thin up to 30%. I don't think we need that, but we're going to start with what they say, and that's just thin it a little bit. We're going to use the Patriot 105 with the silver end right here. That signifies this is a 0.7 millimeter needle. Now we're going to dip this spoon, and then we're going to spray it over different uh, coatings. We're going to spray this model which I painted in my auto you see my auto paint video where I painted the BMW model in that beautiful metallic red this is a pearl blue silver I got in the little like a little bit of a mountain in a can it was a sample it's enough for me to paint like 20 models but uh, I sprayed this uh, Isuzu Piazza well, I got a whole bunch of these just for testing that's why it's uh, this particular kit now it's uh, auto paint, so it has to be clear. That's why it's dull looking, so it's a good test. And this is also the same paint I painted the spoon with. You can see it's dull and smooth. This is the one we'll dip and uh, let it dry. Um, we're also going to try it over some chrome. Hey, let's try it, right? All clad. Here we go. SMS warm. This is Tamiya. I think it's X13. Uh, metallic blue, really pretty color. And we'll try it on, this is a spray can, TS-97, we'll go again with Tamiya. Uh, pearl yellow, it's already kind of shiny, we'll see how that looks going over that. And here is an auto color, this is Splash Paints Indian Fire Red. you got to shake it up quite a bit, but this is basically auto colors like you see here, um, where the metal flake is really reduced down to a micro size to match the uh, car. You don't want giant metal flakes on your car kit so it makes it look like a toy where you want to get them scaled down. That's what this is. So, look at that. Indian Fire Red. Really nice color, but you can see it's nice and dull, so we'll see. I left this on the run so I can hold it. We'll see uh, how that works too over splash paints. And if it goes well, then about 30 bucks, you've got a nice giant can here um, that you can use. I'm also going to spray it over. Uh, Gumpla piece right off the runner. This is from a Zaku kit. Let me see. Yep. MS, uh, what am I looking at? Yep, Zaku 1, it says. So that's what we're going to put this over. It's that blue and green kit. But it's straight off the runner. I'm going to see how it goes over uh, plastic like that. And um, that's it. We'll mix it up now and get it going. But first, I want to tell you guys about my Patreon, which I have launched. And it was uh, one tear, and it's to take request. I figured I was trying to come up with something different we can do on the Patreon besides showing all the colors being painted when I show a whole set and I only paint like four of them. 
I'll show like all 20 of them I, I, on the video. I'll put up some behind the scenes stuff. But I'm trying to think of something unique, and I came up with it. I figured I would take request and put them in video form as an answer. Meaning, what does this paint look like over this? Like a candy over the different colors. And because I've shown him already, one of my Patreons, Mike, uh, requested, what does Jump Wins Extra Metal Chroma Series, Chroma, number 32, turquoise, beautiful color, look like sprayed over Gaia Starbright Brass? And that's what I did for him. I sprayed a, a couple spoons with this, went over with that on camera, and posted it for him. And I can show you this now because it's a few days that I showed him. I didn't want uh, to devalue um, that he paid for my Patreon to see this stuff exclusively for himself. But I'm showing you as an advertisement for myself what I did. And I did all three of these. This is over black. This is over white. This is over a Gumpla piece. And I took his base and sprayed the colors. And he got to see what this looks like over this paint. So now he knows what he's looking for. All right. And that's what the Patreon is going to be. And uh, I'll put a link below if you guys want to sign up. It's cheap. It's like four bucks. Only one tier. And uh, I'll take requests. A lot of guys don't even want a quest. They just wanted to help the channel, which it will help the channel, particularly for getting new supplies and shipping when I send out some of my giveaways. But anyway, guys, let me put up a little rag here. Let me pause the camera. Let's open the can and stir it up. you got to stir it up at first, even though it looks like it's clear. And then uh, let's get to spraying. All right, like magic, we are back. All right, let's go ahead, pop open the can. Now, I stirred this a bit before because I've been practicing with it. But even though it looks clear, you want to stir it up a bit. That's why I'm going to go through the motions here and show you guys. Stir it up even though it looks like it, uh, it doesn't really need it. All right, let's get this out. Okay, now let's fill up a cup with some here. As you can see, here's my rhino. See the rhino? That's my rhino mask. I'll show you that in a second. Let's go ahead and uh, I do this to keep it neat. I'll have a lot more mixed up because we're going to spray all that stuff I showed you and I want to run out, you know, mid, mid job. That I'm not sure how much the car is going to take. I know the... Uh, 2K goes on in just about one coat, you know. So with this, we'll see how that does this right there. I won't even clean out that pipette. We'll just get rid of that one. Let's get the lid back on. There we go. All right. All right, let's spin it around. Okay. Now, 10%. You can use the markings on here. Uh, I go by I at this point. That's me. I, oop. Hit the camera, guys. Sorry, I've been doing this long enough. But uh, you can count how many of the uh, eyedroppers that I put in. And then just, you know, you can base it off of that, too. Let me get my coffee stirrers. Cut one in half. You can see it's all, like, marble in there. See it? You're going to stir it up until it's nice and even. It doesn't quite look crystal clear, like in the can. But it's close. That's because of the thinner. Now, the thinner actually does smell different, so it's not your typical um, thinner. They did recommend you can use acetone because the customer actually asked, and their response was, you can, but it dries, it flashes off so fast, it dries so quick, it's really tough to work with. It doesn't allow it to level itself out as if uh, you weren't using it. So, for that, I went with this. Now, you can use acetone, but you've got to be confident and know what you're doing and get it done really quick. So, uh, I might test it behind the scenes during the week and see what I can do with that. I'll try it with the acetone on a spoon, and I'll try it quick and see if we can get good results. But that's it. We are stirred up. Let's head over to the booth. I'll hook up my Patriot 105 and... Uh, if you haven't seen my community shot yet, let me show you something here, guys. Hold on. Check it out. Check it out. Two gallon. The one I tested in my about last month, uh, sometime in July, right, was the Fortress one gallon. But uh, while filming, 
it comes on all it kept coming on and a couple of you guys uh, wrote to me in the comments and says grab the two gallon it doesn't come on much at all if an entire session of airbrushing so I actually got this today this is fresh first time we're using it I think I brought it home like two hours ago so uh, I still had the receipt for the other one I brought it in they let me swap up to this one on sale currently $169.99 a killer price for a wonderful air compressor you can see my 2d is back there which I still use and um, I swap them back and forth I'm gonna get this permanently hooked up and have multiple airbrushes running if you're only using an airbrush and that's it still stick with the 2d it's it, you can't beat the whisper quietness of that and, and it's portable and uh, stick with that if all you're gonna do is airbrush just grab a 2d that's that's all you need but if you're gonna use like I might use this to uh, fill my tires a couple of air air tools that I have in the garage it's versatile it's got the nice handle you just carry it upstairs it's not that heavy boom done so 169 on sale if you're looking for a compressor like this the upgrade from the other one was like 30 or 40 bucks totally worth it we'll see how it goes now for the first time anyway guys let's head over to the pace spray booth and check out this diamond coating all right my friends here we are at the booth let's go ahead and start off with the auto paint Oops, hold on. Not this one. We're going to dip this one. All right. I forgot. We're dipping that one first. All right. Let's try it over this Tamiya metallic blue. Oh, it goes on really nice. I will stop there. Look at that. All right. We'll put that aside. Let's just try it over some plastic. Wow, it goes on good. So far, quickie, and it's looking good. Let me put this aside. All right, let's try it over the car. Here we go. I was told one coat should do it, so we're going to go in just like this, and boy, it, it is coming out nice. It's tough for you guys to see where I am here, but... Paint didn't come out great, but I think it's this kit's old. Hey, there goes the compressor. We are powering up. Oh, that didn't take long. And uh, let's go over the top. I'm going to keep this fill. I didn't put that much in it. Let me put some more in. So far, really good. Hopefully it dries just like this, like it's wet looking. He said I can get it so it looks wet because it's going to level itself, you know. Almost foolproof, the guy told me, so we'll see. Yeah, it, it looks terrific. Can you see it? Look at that. Not bad at all. Wow, that looks good. All right, let's get a few more things sprayed. I'm going to put it in my dehydrator. And let it uh, dry up. All right, let's try it over this auto paint from Splash. Hold on, let's get some dust off this. I've actually I should have dusted off the car. I forgot. No, I'm gonna have dust for sure. This is the anti-static brush from Tamiya, and uh, she works good. Not the best to test it on. This is really old plastic. It had some imperfections in it. I couldn't cover up, but it's literally a 40-year-old model, you know? But that's it. It covered it. Can you see the reflection? Wow! Now, this is an auto paint, so your car would have this copper color, I guess. 
Is that really like a copper? All right, we'll put that aside. We're going to put that in the dehydrator with the car. Let's move on. All right, here we go. SMS Chrome. This looks like it changed it, but, you know, I don't know till it dries. I don't know till it dries. All right, all clad chrome. Blowing off the dirt here. Yeah, actually, let's do this. Get the anti-static on it. All right, here we go. He said I can do it, but like the others say, it's tough to get what you want over chrome. But it might dry, it might dry nice. It's a little cloudy now, but you saw it in the cup. It was cloudy. This is uh, Mr. Hobby GX207. Yeah, it really brings out the metallics, just like the car paint. I mean, that, that's it. It's covered. I think we got one more spoon, and that's it. Uh, kind of impressed. Then we'll dip the spoon and see what that does. go look at that shine all right we'll see how durable it is at the very end but uh, yeah that's it all right that's sprayed on hopefully the car and everything comes out good uh, let me put everything into the dehydrator and then head back at the bench we'll dip a spoon all right guys here we are back at the bench let's get this product facing us there we go all right we're gonna dip in let's go ahead and brush now this is a model master brush this is test to, oh, Tamaya TS88 spray can. It's a champagne gold, I think. Let's see. Anyway, now you're going to clean the brush with acetone, so don't forget to do that afterwards. Let's go ahead and see how this stuff brushes on. And if it can be brushed on. He told me I could. So we'll do it over the can so it goes right back in. It's just like dipping. I guess if you can dip it, then you can brush it on. But yeah, I could see it self-leveling. It works pretty well. It went on pretty good. All right, leave it on this rag. I'll put this in the dehydrator with everything else. Let me get this brush and some acetone. There we go. All right, now here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do the dip. And here's how we're going to dip it. We are going to tape it to this stick, and I'm going to hang it over a, a garbage can. I'll show you just a second. All right, here we go. There we go. We'll let it run off. And it can continue to run off because I'm going to put it over a little trash. I have a trash can here that I use for stuff like this. I put stuff over it. It's a, it's a little tiny waste basket. Cheap, you know, $2 item. Right? There you go. Now it can continue to drip. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tape it to this stick right here. All right, so now we are hanging. And let me show you where I'm going to put it. Let me pause the camera. One second. All right, guys, there you can see it. It's still taped to this stick that I have, this balsa stick. It's still dripping a little bit. I put a old bag in the bottom, and we just let it hang there. And that's it. I'll let it sit for quite a bit. I will, uh, hold on guys, let me get back to the bench. Here we are, back at the bench. All right guys, I'm gonna let that dry. Everything else is in the dehydrator. Let's put the cap back on this. Always use gloves. Um, I had to work the camera a little bit, and uh, so the gloves I didn't wear for this, but you guys gotta wear this when, you, uh, when you're working with this stuff. If you get it on your fingers and stuff, a little acetone. Like a nail polish remover cleans you right off. And then use that orange cleaner that I use. But for now, oh, here's the mask that I use. All right. When I use this, I have to use the little microphone that I have. I tie it into the camera, and then I go into the, put it right into my mouth, into the mask. It works fine. And, uh, but this is a great mask. I think it's like 16 bucks. Gets the job done. Beautiful. And uh, All right, guys. We'll see you in a few hours. Let everything dry up. We'll go over the results. Early results look good. Um, for sure. So, uh, fingers are crossed. Uh, this looks like we might have stumbled upon a winner here. Anyway, guys, when you see me back again, it'll be a couple hours and everything has dried up. 
and uh, we'll go with the results. All right, guys, here we are back at the bench, and the results are in, and the results are good. Um, I had some sitting for a few days. I like to get a 48-hour dry time in, particularly with this heavy clear stuff. And uh, you can feel the one that I just did is a, just, it's, it's pretty much done. But when you feel it versus one that I've had sitting an extra day, it's completely dry. So, I mean, you could probably work on it and it's a bit, it's dry to the touch, but it's a little bit, but two hours in the uh, dehydrate and I got to here. And I think just sitting on the bench for a day, you get to the fully cured uh, amount. Um, but good results. Really good results. Here is over the car. If you see any blemishes, that's my fault. I forgot to hit it with the static, uh, anti-static brush. But uh, it came out good. Now, I, I didn't prime the kit. You can see these odd spots. It has nothing to do with uh, the clear. That's actually, I just noticed it. That uh, I sprayed the car paint over it and I forgot to prime it. But you can see how nice it is. I mean, it looks like the 2K. Look at it. It's a beautiful. Here is the same paint over a primer. You can see how even it should be. Look at that. It's the same paint. It went on good. One coat like you saw me go through it. Uh, thinned it a little bit. And um, there's your result. I mean, that is beautiful. All right, we'll show you the other big piece. That was Splash Paints Indian Fire Red. And look at that. And this is a really, really old kit. I mean, this is an old kit. That's why I, uh, um, I got a bunch of old kits, half builds and stuff from a friend, and uh, I use them to test. And uh, I laid that down, you know, before I started the test, and then I wanted to see the clears. So I had to let this dry. But look at it. It's... Uh, it's it's smooth. It goes on nice. It's really good. It's just like the 2K. As durable, I think once you get to this hardened point, it probably is because I've seen people use these on countertops and sinks, and um, and it does the job. It does the job well. Now let's check it out over a bare plastic. Look at that. Look at that. That's cut off the runner. Here's what it looks like normally, right? And look at that. Is that like glass? Look at that. So that's over bare plastic. I also, behind the scenes, sprayed it over black primer. This was flat black primer. And look, a lot of times the primer will absorb a lot of the uh, the Mr. Hobbies and the uh, Tamiya spray cans um, clears. So I said, let me try it over uh, the flat black primer. And it worked. It, it still stood. It held its own. It kept the clear. All right. And then I guess the miscellaneous, you know, I just shot it over all these other colors. This is over the Tamiya spray paint. This is Mr. GX. Look at that. Now we got not the best results here. This was warm, the warm chrome from SMS. Now we lost that chrome effect, but it's pretty durable. So, I mean, you, you take one without the other, it kind of, and here's the all clad. All clad. And it no longer has that chrome look. Then again, though, it'll be super durable. So 50-50. Uh, Sometimes I do like a non-chrome. Something to look more like a polished metal. And that's what you get with this. Look at that. Is that beautiful? Another great blue. This is uh, Tamiya. Let me show you what this is. All right, guys, I'm reaching up over this is, it was a Gypsy Avenger from uh, uh, Pacific Rim. Yeah, this is the same car, straight out of the jar to me. Uh, and look at it with the clear coat over it. Because it comes out, it has that dull, nice, flat look. I like that look. I really do. But uh, look at it when you shine it. You get more of a uh, auto color. Let's get Gypsy Avenger over here. So there you go. That's over the Tamiya. And it comes out kind of dull like that. And look what you get once you clear it with that. Now, let's show you the dipped spoon in the, the one I dipped. Uh, it's behind me. I just took it off that stick. Look at that. That was dipped. How even. 
little bumpies here and there. It might have been the spoon. I'm not sure. But, you know, it's it was dipped in. Now, that's pretty good. It looks orange peel, but it isn't, guys. It, it, it's my drop ceiling. And all those white drop ceilings with the texture, it kind of reflects that texture when I show stuff off. Beautiful. That was the dip. And here is the brushed on. Now, it's perfect in the middle. It ran to the end. I put too much on. I should have went a little lighter with the, the brushing. Uh, not really meant to be brushed, <clears throat> but it can be brushed. So, if you're careful, this is probably the result you'll get. And that's it. I sprayed it. I don't even know what this color is, but it came out great. <laughs> I didn't have it marked, but uh, it came out great once I cleared it. And this is over a candy. See, it's a chrome spoon. I put clear red, and then I glossed over that. Now, that took nothing away. So I don't know why it takes away from certain chromes. You know, I guess that's it. And I've sprayed over this. This was a flat aluminum. And you know what? It still looks good. But it looks best over these pearl colors. It just looks really good over these. <clears throat> Look at that. Dipped, sprayed. And that's it. There you go. I like it. It's a thumbs up. I did one more thing behind the scenes. I sprayed it over this wing this is my big test i did when i tested all the uh decal softeners so the decal solutions the setters so i took that and then i sprayed it over that to see how it, if it would damage it now this one was damaged because i was experimenting with that i didn't spray it over this one i sprayed it over this one look at that it looks wet too but it's not look at that let's try the other one right here you can see where it's flat. See it? And you come up to it here. Wow, it looks wet. So there you go. It'll go over decals too. Um, let me get that. It's blocking the box. Fantastic. Highly recommended. I got mine at uh, Spray Gunner. <coughs> I'll put a link from Spray Gunner and I'll put a link from Amazon below. I'll put an affiliate link. It'll help the channel if you guys use the link. And I recommend, if you're going to airbrush it, with a smaller airbrush. If you have a spray gun for cars, you don't have to thin it. I recommend the thinner too. So pick up that thinner um, as a twofer. You might be in it just under 40 bucks. I don't know what the shipping is, but you got a lot in there and it's going to go a long way and you're going to use it a lot, particularly if you're a car builder or, like I said, the fishing lures. Um, use this mask. I'll put a link below. My Rhino Half Mask. It's awesome. Fits me good. It's got replaceable filter pads. And they sell them, but they last a good year for me because we're only airbrushing. We're not using the heavy, heavy stuff, you know. So I'll put a link for that, too. And uh, let me go ahead and show you what's coming up before I say goodbye. All right. Don't forget about my Patreon. We went through this already. There you go, Mike. Making you famous, showing your requested spoons on camera. Coming up, I have this awesome Castle Barris. Is that what it is? I just turned it on. <laughs> this, I've been uh, just going over. It came fully charged. And it's a, uh, if you put your hand over it, it turns off because it works with the trigger like my other one. So, but this one comes with the recharger. Can you see it? It's up here. And it tells you how full the battery is. It plugs into the bottom and you can take it off the base. It's got the charger cable. It came with a hose and an airbrush and a pretty damn good airbrush. Uh, I haven't used it yet, but it's got a smooth, smooth action to it. It's got the cutaway handle and a stopper on the end. And I'm kind of impressed, even though you know it's just a cheap airbrush, but really, really impressive combination. Even the, the cap has a rubber gasket around it. Can you see it? Most of them just fit on tight. This actually has a rubber seal. And even that's a little, uh, little something, something I don't see too often. So I'm excited to try this. I might do this as my next airbrush test. And um, it works directly off of the canister or the hose. And it only works when you pull the trigger. And I believe it works with any airbrush. So this is going to be a great test. i flip it over here. So this is coming up very soon. A nice all-in-one package there. I got this super inexpensive. I might have been under, under 40. But it came with everything. Hose, cleaning kit. Uh, all kinds of adapters, three needles, three needles and uh, nozzle sizes, a moisture trap, uh, three cup sizes, extra O-rings for replacements, a Mac valve, 
Uh, I don't expect much, but this is one of the nicer looking Chinese, whatever you call these things on Amazon, I've seen in a while. You know, I don't know if it's as good as the one I just showed you, but that's why we're going to test it. We're going to find out, you know. I like to use a cheap brush when I'm spraying uh, primers and stuff. So, we're going to go through this too. This is going to be another kit we're doing soon. All right, get that out of the way, and that is all, guys. Um, well, that's it for now. we got a few more things to go. Don't forget, my Pano liners are back in stock. They're not lasting long. Again, it looks like we're selling out a third batch. Um, turned out to be popular. Some of you have always sent me pictures of your kits with it on, and they look awesome. Completely awesome. I want to thank you guys for, uh, for supporting me by uh, purchasing these. And um, don't forget the enamels also if you want to brush them on instead of uh, panel lining. That's a good uh, good compliment to go with that. And um, that's all. That's it. I'll put all the links below, including the link to my Patreon that I went through earlier. And um, I got a, another video I hope to do over the weekend. I'm gonna, I got a lot to get through, so I'm going to start stacking these videos up for you guys. I got a, a portable spray booth I'm going to show you. Um, nothing with a fan, but uh, it's pretty cool. I'm going to show you that. That's going to come up next, too, I think. And then, uh, like I said, we're going to go into that airbrush with the built-in uh, compressor. And uh, I might give you a slight review, because I already did the Fortress, the two-gallon that versus the one-gallon. It looks like it's the same, except it doesn't run as often, which is why I got it. Anyway, guys, go grab the Diamond Finish. All the links below, including my Patreon, will be there, including the link to the Diamond Finish. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you in the next video.